Hi everyone, this is a mobile game review from Mob.org, and you're listening to Jay. Let's go! Today we have a very interesting game on our hands. Firstly, because it's high quality with good graphics. And secondly, because it's about zombies! And what can be better than zombies? That's right, nothing. So let's meet Dead Trigger, the second part of course. And naturally, I haven't played the first part, because I'm a slowpoke and a beggar. So sorry, there's no comparative analysis for me between this and the first one. But even without it, we have a lot to talk about. The game already starts with a big fat plus for me, because I love me some zombies. And besides, zombies are almost always cool, at least to the touch, since they're dead and all. Durr. It all begins when you create an account. Unfortunately, and at the same time fortunately, all saves are stored in the cloud, and that's why you need a continuous connection to the internet. But that does make it possible to play the same save game on different devices. So with the account created, let's play. You start off in a shelter, and it's, in my opinion, quite a cool way to do it. Here it's a real strategy element, where you'll be able to prepare for venturing out to the infected cities. Here it's possible to upgrade your weapons, and even to develop new ones using schematics found during missions. It's possible to stock up with first aid kits, grenades, and various other junk necessary for your survival. The specific dude is responsible for the production of each type of object. That way, all such dudes can be updated to do their work quicker. And once you're ready, you can head out to the war. Besides the subject missions, which are connected by a dotted line on the map, there are also additional side missions, which you can take to earn additional money. There are a few different types of missions. One is defense, where you have to fend off the zombies. Another is assault, where you clean out a certain area of them. And then saving or rescue missions, where you have to bring some guy out of a dangerous zone alive. The control system is quite standard when it comes to shooters made for touchscreens, so everything is relatively clear. There is one plus. The game offers to connect you to a joystick, and even though I don't have one, it does sound like a fun way to play it. Also, there is quite an interesting plot and storyline, and in the process of playing, you will meet each dude from the shelter, you'll learn his story, and in general, the storyline becomes an unexpectedly pleasant addition. I never get used to the intelligence of mobile games. Besides the usual brain-hungry corpses, there are bosses who are bigger, fatter, and uglier. It is possible to pass the game alone or in cooperation mode with a friend. So the results. The game is high quality, interesting to play, with good graphics and background story, and moreover, it's free. There is a small donate option, but it has no difference on the game. On the whole, I liked it. I definitely recommend Dead Trigger 2. That's all for today. If you like this review, then follow our channel, put a like on this video, and tell your friends about it. This was Jay, with the review from Mob.org. See you!